Namaste yogis. This is a gentle yin yoga class for the times when you're on your menstrual cycle and you want something really soft and gentle where you can just relax and receive. When we're on our menstrual cycle, we want to be really gentle and easy with ourselves, not push too hard or do any super powerful young type of practices. So yin is a really wonderful practice at this time during your cycle. And also anytime you're looking for just a more gentle practice. So let's go ahead and get started. Come to a tabletop position. We'll start with cat cows just to wake up a little bit. So hands under your shoulders, knees wide under your hips. Begin by inhaling, lifting up, looking up. Exhale to round down. You can take these at your own pace. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to round. Nice and easy, feeling into your body, feeling into your breath. Allow your breath to guide your body. Take one more forward and back here. Inhale back to neutral. And exhale, bend to your right. Look over your right shoulder towards your right toes. Open through your left ribs. And inhale, swing your hips, head and shoulders to the left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Just keep moving like this, gently opening through your side body. Take one more on each side. Come back to center. We'll make our way into a child's pose. So you can take your block. Bring your hips down towards your heels and rest the block under your head. And your knees can be open nice and wide. Allow your belly just to hang out. So the whole idea with yin is that we relax into the postures and we allow our body's space and time to open naturally. There's no pressure to come to the deepest version of the pose right away. Rather, we stay longer in every pose. And this gives our connective tissues time to naturally open. So you might feel really comfortable here already and then choose to come down lower on your block. And only once you feel super comfortable, there's no fighting, there's no forcing, then maybe you can release the block and come all the way down. And if at any point you feel too much tension in your deepest version of the posture, you can come back up. Back up to your block. Back off the posture a little bit. So just imagine your body is melting into the floor. And 
and just be here. Sometimes the challenge with yin yoga is simply being in these positions for longer without moving. So maintain your attention on your breath. Consciously breathe slowly in and out through your nose. And fill up your belly even more with every inhale. And slow, gentle release with every exhale. Stay for one more breath. And slowly begin to walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. They can even come off of your mat. Place the left hand on top. And lower your head back down between your arms. We're just naturally allowing the left shoulder, the left ribs, the left hip to open. One more breath here. And slowly return back through center and exhale, walk your hands over to the left side of your mat and off your mat, take the right hand on top and lower your head down between your arms here. Surrendering, deep breathing. Stay for one more breath. And slowly return back through center. Rise back up to your knees. And stretch your legs out to lower all the way down to your belly. We'll find our way to a sphinx pose. A gentle heart opener. You can let your legs be wider than your hips. 
You're propped up on your elbows with your palms flat down on the floor. And in this posture, just notice if you're totally collapsing down and your shoulders are rising up to your neck or your ears. Gently slide them down. So there is a little bit of contraction here. There is a little bit of energy in the posture, not completely collapsed. But this is a nice one to gently massage the belly. If you want, you can rock a little bit side to side if that feels good. Or just stay straight and breathe into your belly. Breathe into your chest. You can close your eyes. It might feel nice to circle your head around a bit, starting with the right. If you're circling, finish up this side and reverse the other way. Last one here. And just lay flat down on your belly, turn your head to one side, close your eyes, turn your palms to face up to the ceiling. Come back to your breath. One more full breath here. And turn your head back to neutral. Gently rise back up through tabletop. Sit on your heels. And swing your legs around in front of you. Open the legs a little bit wider than your hips. It doesn't have to be a big straddle position, but just a little bit wider. And grab your block, maybe two. You can start with two. So take the blocks in between your legs and gently lower down, place your forehead on your block. You can let your legs Relax here. You don't need to hold any tension in your feet, your toes, your legs. As you hold this posture longer, it might be possible to release one of the blocks and come down a little bit lower. But again, go at your own pace. There's absolutely no pressure to come down lower. You can stay with the two stacked blocks the whole time.
to observe your body. Keep noticing where you can soften even more. Observe your breath. Notice where you can deepen your breath even more. Take two more full deep breaths here. And slowly rise back up. Take the soles of your feet together in a butterfly position. We'll again use the block. This time take it on top of your feet and lower down. So this might be inaccessible for some people. Some people might again want to come back to two blocks and just hold the block and play around. Notice if it's possible to have the blocks on your feet or if you need to have your legs a little bit longer because your hips are tighter. Stretch the legs out longer and take the blocks inside your legs. And you might start here and then return to a deeper variation of the posture. Again, the idea is that our body opens slowly and naturally when we give it time, when we give it breath. There's no need to force anything. Maybe your body wants to go a little deeper and if not, all good. Usually during this time in our cycle, our hips get tighter. That's why we're doing all of these hip openers. Just breathe into the places that feel tight. Have no judgment about, oh, maybe other times of the month, my knees go wider or closer to the floor. Just know that that's normal. And there's no need to judge or force. We're honoring our bodies here. This is sacred work that we're doing. The more you relax, the more you will receive. Hear your breath. And 
One more breath here. Inhale, slowly come out. And exhale, move your blocks and lie down on your back. Hug your right knee into your chest. Your left leg can either be bent with your foot on the floor or extended long out in front of you. You can relax the right foot, maybe circle your ankle. And reverse the circle. Slowly begin to cross your leg over to the left. And gently open the right arm out to the side. And look to your right hand. Easy, gentle twist. With every exhale, soften the right shoulder down towards the floor more. Relax the right hip, the right knee, the right foot. One more breath here. And inhale, slowly come back to center. And stretch the leg up to the ceiling. And just hold behind your leg. If you have a yoga strap, you can also take the strap around your right foot here. Otherwise, just hold wherever you can reach. And again, there's no pulling, so especially if you're using a strap, you don't need to pull on it. Just use it to support you. Just use it to place your hand somewhere so the leg can just relax. Soften more with every exhale. And one more breath here. Slowly release your right leg back down. And inhale to bend the left knee into your chest. So if you kept the left leg bent on the other side, you can also choose to keep the right knee bent here. Or explore what that feels like even if you didn't. The right knee either bent or straight out. The left leg relaxed, you can circle your ankle. Notice any crackling sensations, any stuckness. Let go.
And exhale, cross your knee over to the right for a gentle twist. Open your left arm out and turn your head to the left. Completely relax your left knee, your left hip, your left thigh, your left foot, your left toes. Relax your neck. And take one more full deep breath here. And slowly return back through center. And straighten your leg up to the ceiling. And hold on wherever you can reach. If you like and you use the strap on the other side, you can take your strap around your left foot. Or just hold on where you can reach. Again, without forcing, without fighting. Just let the leg start to fall as it feels ready. The more you let go, the more you will receive. Stay for one more breath. And slowly bend your knee back into your chest. Bring the right knee up to meet it. And just take happy baby, open your knees. Hold on to the outsides of your feet. And you can rock gently side to side. Or just stay still. Opening your hips one last time. Maybe straightening one leg and then the other. Maybe both. And slowly as you're ready. And release down to your Shavasana. You can get a blanket if you're feeling chilly. I'm feeling chilly, so I'm going to grab my blanket over here. And we'll completely relax lying down on your back. You can cover yourself so... You're as comfortable as you can be. Your legs can be wider than your hips. Arms by your sides, palms face up. And again, fully surrender. Completely let go. Know that you've done enough. Just 
that you are enough. You can stay here for as long as you like. And when you are ready to come back, and gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Circle your wrists and ankles. Take a big stretch, reaching your arms back over your head. <clears throat> Exhale, head to your back to your chest. And roll on to one side for a fetal position. We'll pause here for a moment. Keeping your eyes closed, gently rise back up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your palms together at your heart. Gently bow your head down towards your hands. Thank yourself for taking this time to honor your body, your mind, and your spirit. May you and all beings be happy and free. And may our words, thoughts, and actions contribute to creating a more peaceful and harmonious world for all. Namaste.